multiplying negative. When multiplying numbers, these rules apply. A positive times a positive equals a positive. Two negatives make a positive. A negative and a positive make a negative. A positive and a negative make a negative. Now let's talk about signs. No, not those kinds of signs. This is a positive sign. This is a negative sign. If a number has no sign, it usually means that it's positive. You can put brackets around the number to avoid confusion. Like this. The rules. Two like signs make a positive sign. Two unlike signs make a negative sign. Here's an example of the sign rule. The signs are negative and positive, so they are unlike signs. So according to the rule, the result must be negative. The signs are negative and negative, so they are like signs. So according to the rule, the results must be positive. Why does multiplying two negative numbers make a positive? There is a good explanation for this. Answer my phone. That's a positive. Do not answer my phone. That's a negative. Do not not answer my phone. That's a positive. So two negatives make a positive. Money owed versus money owned. Let's say you owe three people five dollars each. That means you are negative fifteen dollars. Let's say each of them decides to forgive your debt. You've just had three subtractions of negative five. You now have no debt. Rising and falling levels. The tank has 30,000 liters, and 1,000 liters are taken out every day. What was the amount of water in the tank three days ago? We know the amount of water in the tank changes by negative 1,000 every day. We need to subtract that three times to go back three days to answer the question. So the change will be negative 3 times negative 1,000, which equals positive 3,000. So three days ago, there were 33,000 liters of water in the tank. What about multiplying three or more numbers together? Multiply two at a time and follow the rules. Don't forget two like signs always make a positive sign. And two unlike signs always make a negative sign. So to multiply three or more numbers, multiply the first two, then multiply that result by the third number. To put your new knowledge into practice, try the your turn questions here.